Hello, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel and welcome to Walkthrough Wednesday. Today I have for you a beautiful butterfly journal that I just finished. I'm really happy with this one. It has a little dangle off the side of blue and yellow buttons and the tie is also of blue and yellow buttons. It has a butterfly on the front. It is eight and a half tall by five and a half wide and contains 48 pages inside of places for you to write, to draw, to sketch. And I'm just going to pull the buttons up here and we're gonna open up the closure. Oops, caught my other buttons. All right, let's take a peek inside. So that when you open it up, there's a little window here with a tag in it and a little tuck spot here with a place to write. And you'll see the butterflies throughout. This is a definitely a butterfly themed journal. This is another, this is the other half of this piece. This was a uh, really pretty envelope that came in some mail that I got. And I added a little flower and there's a little butterfly that just peeks through the window on the flap. There's another pocket here. And keep in mind, if you purchase this journal, you can move things around. There's a little pocket here. And then I like this one. It's like a little window. There's another place to write in there. And when, you, when it goes down, the lace goes over and makes it like a little balance. And if you don't like where things are, remember a lot of these, the tags and, and pockets and things you can, or um, journal cards, you can move around. Some very 60s looking, uh, what am I trying to think of? Butterflies. Okay, I did, if you watched my video, my maker video the other day, then you know how this is done. But this is just a little tie. And then inside, this is a piece of paper that you can use to journal or sketch. And what's really cool about this is if you don't want to fill up the whole page, just fill up a little section. Maybe write this way on this way and then turn it again and write a little bit something over here or whatever. And then when you're done, you just close it up, put it down, and tie it back in with a very simple tie. If you can tie your shoes, you can tie this up. Interesting story about my daughter. My daughter learned how to tie her shoes upside down. When she went to kindergarten or preschool, she couldn't tie her shoes yet. We had tried and tried and tried. She just couldn't get it. And a friend of hers at school said, here, you do it like this. And she showed her mirror image. So here you have two four-year-olds one teaching the other one how to tie her shoes, and this time it clicked, and she got it. But I watch her tie her shoes now, and she does them upside down because she learned a mirror image. Ah, kids. little hidden space to write, and you can write on both. This is a really pretty white admiral butterfly and this comes in the, all of the the photographs of butterflies in here come from matt robbins um, he is a nature photographer who does some excellent work look him up i will see if i can link to him below little pocket there this is a very cool little notebook of just little pieces so you can just again Write little, write big, write a lot, write a tiny amount, do a sketch, and then, of course, they match up. This is just a cool card. I don't know where this card came from. Uh, it was in my mom's stash at one point. It says happy birthday, but isn't that a gorgeous card? So you can use it as a card, send it to someone if you'd like, write in it, keep it in here your option but i liked how the two ginghams worked together then some graph paper to write on 
a little piece in the middle to play around with. And this is where the charms are attached on the top, not charms, the buttons. Some lemons with a butterfly and a little butterfly up here visiting the lemons. More gingham. And another place to write. A couple of tags. Again, you may have seen me when I did the blue and yellow day. These are the tags that I made for that. The other half of that little bag. And there's some more little things stuffed inside here. Another piece where you can write. This one is an Eastern Black Swallowtail Butterfly, also taken by Matt Robbins. A little pad of paper for you to just write on. Several sheets of paper in there to write. And I, I do like that little valance. It mirrors the one on the other side. A double pocket here with places to write inside. Ah, that one's a little tight, but there you go. This is a multi-pocket, and there are a lot of things in here. So there's a spot here, and a spot here, and a spot here, and a spot here, and a spot here. I tucked something into each of the five so that you could see all the different places. You can put little nicks and crannies and put some, you know, put tickets or um, receipts or photographs, little pieces. Anything you want to put in there, you can hide away in there. Another of the pocket um, oh, this one's a, actually it comes out both ways. It's just a tuck. Belly band with a piece in here and then a pocket here with two pieces in it, including the monarch butterfly. And then also on the front of here is another pocket with another little journaling card. And then we get to the end and we have our tie. Oh, and on the back, one more butterfly just for good measure. So we put this around, and we put it here, and we tuck our buttons underneath, and that closes it up. So there you have it. This is the blue and yellow butterfly journal. If you are interested in purchasing it, the links for it will be down below. Um, I will be selling this only on my coffee shop. Um, I think that's it. All right, if you have enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and click like to let YouTube know that you liked it. If you want notifications as to when the next video will come out, please make sure you hit the bell and that will send you a little notification that a new video has dropped. In the meantime, have a great rest of the week. And this is Cindy signing off.